cataractcoach.com. What is an intracap cataract surgery? Let me explain intracap, extracap, FACO, M6, and more. Now look at this patient. As the eye moves, look at the shake of the lens. Look at that FACO denesis. This patient has essentially zero capsule support. That entire nucleus is sitting on top of the anterior hyaloid face. And this thing can go back at any second here. So what does the word mean? Well, intracap means you're removing the entire cataract along with the lens capsule. And so in the old days of cataract surgery, believe it or not, what was done was a huge incision was made in the eye, usually about six clock hours using a blade that you would think is barbaric, a Von Grafe blade. And then, with half of the cornea fillet open, alpha-chymotrypsin as an enzyme was injected to help weaken and break the zonules. Then a cryoprobe, a frozen probe, was placed on the lens nucleus, on the surface of the anterior lens capsule, actually. And then a big ice ball was formed, and which held on to the whole lens, and then the entire lens was extracted from the eye, and those patients were left aphakic, and they wore these big, thick, plus 10 or 12 glasses. Now, we don't do that anymore, and that's evolved. Then we started getting into IOLs that were iris-supported, because there was no capsule support. And then eventually we moved into extra capsule surgery. So let me get into that in a moment. Look at this nucleus being removed. In fact, I should even say it's the entire cataract. more than just the nucleus. This is the nucleus, the cortex, the epinucleus shell, and the capsule. The entire thing now is being brought up. This patient, for whatever reason, has no zonular support at all. So more viscoelastics protect that cornea, and this entire cataract is going to be removed in its entirety. So again, the entire lens, including the capsule, there it is. Wow. Now, there is no capsule support, so you can do some sort of scleral fixation here, or you can do a sutured type of lens. Our surgeon here instead is going to do a lens that I wish we had in the USA, but we don't, which is an iris claw lens. You can actually adhere this lens or use the claws to hold it to the back surface of the iris, and that has been shown to give good long-term stability. So here's a suture going in to close that up. So what's an extra cap, which is what we do now? Well, Extra cap was leaving the capsule behind. So taking out the cataract, meaning the nucleus, the epinucleus shell, and the cortex, but leaving the capsule behind because then the capsule could hold the new lens. So that was called extra capsule surgery. And it used to be done manually and with a very barbaric looking incision also. In fact, using scissors. The way they taught me extra cap 25 years ago was using corneal scleral scissors to the right and to the left to cut open at the limbus. It was really, truly barbaric in comparison to what we do now. So now MSICS, manual small incision cataract surgery, or shelved incision cataract surgery, I should say, because it's not that small of an incision, this is a modern version of the extra capsule surgery, meaning we can take out the nucleus as a whole and, and then clean up the cortex and epinucleus shell, leave the capsule behind, and though we have a much better incision now, we have a shelved incision that's going to seal really well. That's an MSICS. And again, we don't really do the old traditional extra cap incision because those make zero sense in comparison to the MSICS incision. And then what is FACO? Obviously, you know what FACO is. It's what we're doing every day. It's what you love to learn on a cataract coach. But FACO actually is a type of extra capsular surgery as well. It's just removing it with the FACO probe through a much smaller incision. But you're obviously still leaving the capsule behind. So those are the differences. I had some young doctors emailing me, asking me what the differences were, so I thought I'd show you this video and explain that. And you can see now that new IOL is, is being positioned in the eye, and it's going to be enclavated. The iris are going to be kind of brought into those little pinchers, and it'll hold it in place. Hey, did I tell you about our new website, cataractcoach.com? You know, it's only six, seven years old, but it has everything. There's a free PDF book. All this was already explained on the Cataract Coach website in that book. The free curriculum series, the podcast, you know what I'm talking about. Check it out. Anyway, here's the end of the case. A few sutures to close that up. Just close the conjunctiva. And that's a really nice result. This patient's going to be pretty happy. And now you know the difference between intracap, extracap, MSICS, and FACO. And again, here's all the social media stuff. Please hit the like and subscribe button down here on YouTube. It makes a big difference. Appreciate your support.